Hello, BrickTipster here, and thank you for coming and checking out the full-length video of Aragorn. Now, I had posted a short a little while ago, uh, just kind of showcasing Aragorn for everyone, and I wanted to do a follow-up video of just kind of the process of how I got Aragorn and what I needed to get him and build him and kind of my thoughts about uh, some of the the negatives about having to buy three of the Batmans versus just ordering the pieces uh, straight up. So I thought I'd just share this all with you guys and so hopefully uh, you enjoy this video. All right, without further ado, here we go. This is Aragorn. He has 6,912 studs. He uses three Batmans, so if you go out and purchase three Batmans, you have enough pieces. However, there's a negative. There is a lot of extra wasted pieces. Um, and that's what I kind of want to talk about. So let's start off of how did I learn about Aragorn. I was going through Instagram. I was scrolling through some reels and such, and I came across an artist that lives in Japan. And what she does is she does mosaics like Aragorn here, but a bunch of different characters. I'll start putting some of those up on the screen right now. So I was basically scrolling through her uh, feed and I thought that wow, a lot of these things that she is doing are just amazing. She is extremely talented. And then I came across Aragorn and Gandalf and that's where I stopped. I'm like, okay, I have to have these. So I went ahead and I went up to her bio. I clicked on her link there that showed uh, her Shopify store. I sent her an email uh, regarding which ones I wanted that I wanted Gandalf and Aragorn. I sent that through to her. She was actually running running a sale at the time uh, for 50% off. So I got both of them for actually $10. She went ahead and within 12 hours, I had my instructions, PDFs of both Aragorn and Gandalf. Now, those were extremely good quality instructions. I can't show those to you right now uh, because they are copyrighted to her and that she's the one that actually uh, is creating them and distributing them. So um, I'm just purchasing the one license to be able to use them for self-service. but. I went ahead and I used three Batmans for that. I had a gift card uh, to Amazon for $250, which definitely helped out with buying two of them. They, uh, each kit is $119.99 uh, a piece. I found one of them on eBay, brand new for 80 bucks, and the other two I paid full price, which was $119.99 each on Amazon. Now, there are 11,901 studs total in all three of these sets. Now, to build him, like I said, it was 6,912 studs to build Aragorn, that means I have an extra 4,989 studs left over that I'm not gonna be using. And that is where the problem, in my opinion, uh, lasted. I looked at all the studs I have left, I'm like, okay, what do I do with all these extra studs? Um, if you are paying three cents per stud, which is very common on Bricklink, that would be $149.67 in extra pieces. If you were paying on lego.com, if you're going and buying them brand new from Lego, you pay five cents per stud, and that would be $249.45. So. To me, there was a lot of wasted pieces when I was really only wanting to build either Aragorn or Gandalf. I thought after a little bit, I would just rotate and I would take Aragorn apart and then build Gandalf. But then after um, spending that much time pushing my thumb into all 6,912 studs, I and my thumb having to take a vacation afterwards, I'm like, yes, I'm not disassembling him. If I want Gandalf, I'll have to buy another three sets. Now, what I would like her to do um, is rather than just say you'll need to buy three Batman, I would also love if she just provided the pieces necessary to build because on Bricklink, you have several sellers. They're selling the tiles. The tiles are the things that you use to create and to put them on. There's actually 27 tiles on the back of Aragorn there. And each one of those tiles, there are sellers on, um, on Bricklink that actually will be selling um, these tiles for roughly about $2.50 per tile. And we're talking about sellers that have more than 17. Um, so I was like, well, I could just do that and I could buy the specific amount of studs I would need and then I would not have all this waste. Now that is not an option that she provides. She basically says, hey, if you wanna build Aragorn, you'll need to buy three Batmans. Uh, so I went ahead and I'm like, okay, I have all these extra pieces now. I could go now on Bricklink, order more of the tiles, and then see what else I'm able to build with the studs that I have left here. And I went ahead and I'll show you uh, some of the pictures here, but I was scrolling through and I found Anakin. Now Anakin was using a lot of the turquoise and the white for his lightsaber hilt, and I had a lot of extra of those. And so I was just like, okay, well maybe I should just go ahead and buy the 
the tiles from the sellers on Bricklink and then go ahead and try to build Aragorn, sorry, not Aragorn, but Anakin with the remainder of the studs that I have. Um, I also thought I could also sell the studs, uh, but that's just not something that I wanted to go ahead and spend the time trying to do. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of give a review um, of basically how I came across being able to have Aragorn in my collection. Uh, I thought instructions were amazing, very well priced. Uh, the difficulty was just getting the pieces, but then the flip side of that was just the amount of extra pieces I had afterwards made me feel bad, uh, just because I felt like there was way too much extra. I would prefer just to have the piece count of how many pieces and what color are needed to build Aragorn and or Gandalf, and then go ahead and source those pieces myself. So thank you just so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as a comment down below if you enjoyed it or if you're also building some of this designer's uh, designs as well and what character you're building. So thank you so much for your support of my channel. It really helps uh, grow my channel as I'm trying to build that. I appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.